Hello and welcome to part two of a three-part program in which we look at the life and the music of George Trevere. At the end of part one, we had followed George through the Jim Davidson Orchestra, the Colgate Palmolive Show Orchestra, and then he took up a position with Bert Howell at the Prince Edward Theatre. About this time, there was a push for greater Australian music content on radio. Arch Kerr, sales manager of the EMI group, Columbia Parlophone and HMV, made decisions about what was later called artists and repertoire. He asked Johnny Wade to record some Australian compositions. And Johnny asked that George Trevere be the musical director for that session, and Kerr agreed. The accompaniment was sparse and George was not credited on the labels of those regal xenophone issues, except as composer of one of the titles, Out of the Blue Gums. From that November 1942 session at Regal Xenophone, we hear three titles, all vocals by Johnny Wade and the accompaniment directed by an uncredited George Trevere. The items we hear are The Land of Sundown, Red Cross Nurse, and out of the blue guns. In the land of the sundown, all the birds are your friends. In the land of the sundown, no peace that never ends. In the hush of the sundown, Lasting friendship is made Hate and fear all die at sundown When men share the evening shade Give your heart to the bushland Stately and tall God made the bushland Cherish it all In the land of the sundown there is ease for your pain you will live to bless the sundown and find perfect peace again rest is the balsam nature provides out on the wide plains where friendship rides go the west wood over the last hill peace comes at evening give your heart its fill in the land of the sundown all the birds are your friends in the land of the sundown knows peace that never ends Give your heart to the bushland, stately and tall. God made the bushland, cherish it all. In the land of the sundown, there is ease for your pain. You will live to bless the sundown and find perfect peace again. In the land of the sundown, Red Cross Nurse Sacrifice inspires you Red Cross Nurse In the darkest hour You tend to our needs with a smile You're a precious flower That makes our life worthwhile how can we repay you, Red Cross nurse? 
Nothing can dismay you mid war's cast Like Florence Nightingale with spirit strong You never fail when things go wrong Good luck and God bless you, Red Cross nurse. Every day we read of gallant deeds Unselfish acts of heroes by the score Yet somehow one seldom ever reads Of the valor of those girls we own adore So let me pay a tribute here and now To our nurses, they deserve it all, I vow All the world admires you, Red Cross nurse. Sacrifice inspires you, Red Cross nurse. In the darkest hour, you tend to our needs with a smile. You're a precious flower that makes a life worthwhile. How can we repay you, Red Cross nurse? Nothing can dismay you, Midwars curse. Like Florence Nightingale with spirit strong, you never fail when things go wrong. Good luck and God bless you. Red Cross Somewhere, someone dear to me In the land I love in the sky reminding me is the southern cross above though she is far away each night i sing and say out of the blue guns i hear you calling me Darling, far across the sea, cooey, cooey, cooey. I see a picture of you, southern skies that are blue, and you're waiting on the doorstep of the home I built for you, and I'll return. Sweetheart, when this world is free, till then, cooey, cooey. Cooey, cooey, cooey. Southern skies that are blue And you're waiting on the doorstep Of the home I built for you And I'll return Sweetheart, when this world is free Till then, cooey
The record sold well for the times, especially the aforementioned Out of the Blue Gums, whose sheet music sales were in the tens of thousands. However, at a penny farthing a copy, George wasn't going to become rich. Arch Kerr was impressed enough to get George to musically direct another recording session, this time by singer Myrie Parker, with a five-piece backing group labelled as George Trevere's Australians. Thirteen days later, on March 25, 1943, with a slightly bigger group again, George Trevere made the first recordings to be issued under his name rather than as an accompanist for a singer. George Trevere's Australians recorded six titles that day, all of them Australian compositions. Released about mid-1943, they went on to become an important part of Australia's musical heritage. Their sentiments related to the war from an Australian perspective, and their sound was uniquely different from the great American and British dance bands of the time, as their sounds were from each other. There had been earlier Australian dance band recordings, of course, by the likes of Frank Coughlin and the already mentioned Jim Davidson. But those by George Trevere have their own special character. In part one of this series, we heard both sides of George's first recording. Now let's hear a further three sides from that session. Firstly, Farewell to Goodbye, with vocal by Johnny Wade. Then, There's a Boy Up North, and Calling You Home. Both vocals by Norma Francis. <laughs>
the girl down south is dreaming of him too. While the boy up north is lonesome for the girl down south, you can rest assured she's lonesome and so blue. Someday when it's over, her lover will come back to her once more. The sun will then be shining, silver lining. Hope to plan a wedding that has been in store So the boy up north keeps yearning For the moment when He'll be returning to his girl down south again George's routine employment during World War II was as a clerk, and he supplemented his modest pay of five pounds a week with income from intermittent music engagements. He had no orchestra of his own as such, but for example in 1943 was the band leader at Bondi Esplanade on Saturday nights, and in 1945 led a quintet at Ciro's. He had other interests, of course. At one time he wrote a play called Deception, which the ABC purchased for five pounds. For a period during the war, George wrote editorial and review material for Tempo magazine. When the war ended, he got work with a theatre chain as orchestra arranger and leader. 
The deal was that he would alternate, each second year, between two state theatres, first in Melbourne and then in Sydney. He became disillusioned with this and resigned when he was due to go back to Melbourne for the second time. Time for another three recordings. Firstly, Sunday, Monday or Always, with vocal duet by Joan Blake and Terry Howard, recorded November 10, 1943. Then Pistol Pack and Mama, and We Mustn't Say Goodbye. Vocals by Joan Blake and Arthur Slade, respectively, and both recorded February 16, 1944. Put that 
gun away. Lay that pistol down, babe. Lay that pistol down. My pistol pack and mama. Lay that pistol down. In 1950, George applied for a position with the ABC to arrange and conduct the South Australian Symphony Orchestra. He was successful and although the position was only temporary, it would lead to other work with the ABC in Sydney. Back in Sydney, George was a balance officer. This was a technical, though not a lofty or highly paid position. George had to balance the sounds of the instruments and artists for broadcasts which he was well qualified to do having learned all about them from Reg Southey, a sound engineer at EMI's Homebush Studios. We continue the life and times of George Trevere next week in part three. <laughs> 